Ladies and gentlemen, welcome boys and girls to the Pike Mega Video, the Pike Movie. Today we are going to be hitting you guys with the most insane Pike plays of all time. Some of my absolute favorite games that we've played. Uh, it is going to be an absolute freaking blast and I'm going to be showing you guys how hard you can 1v9 with this champion because if you've been a fan of the champion for a while, you know that we love playing Pike support and I just really think he's like one of the most unique and just fun and I don't, I don't know like what what are the highest skill ceilings and everything you can do some genuinely crazy things with this champion and uh, who knows maybe we'll get a couple pentakills in this video but uh guys let me know down in the comments if you uh have been enjoying these types of videos these big long mega movies with multiple games in them uh we're going to be showing off all the different builds all the different strategies and uh yeah like i said just 1v9 in this spike let me know down in the comments though if you guys like these videos Flash Q, got the first blood, beautiful first gank from Jarvan. Look at that, guys. We are already getting violent in the Pike movie, and we're, it's only uphill from here, my friends. Um, When we get a kill this early in the game, I like to just go mid, because Pike doesn't have, like, any wave clear. So, like, being here for this wave doesn't really help her get it in, like, any faster. There's TF's Flash. Might be low enough for a dive, honestly. He won't be expecting- he won't be expecting the support here. <laughs> Tried to KS that. Not gonna lie, I don't think KSing on Pike is that big of a deal, honestly. Like, you definitely want gold on this champion. You definitely want to get a lot of kills, because when you get kills, that means you have enough damage to kill other people, which means that when I ult people, you know, I need to- I need to have the damage to be able to ult them, and then that gives gold to my team, right? So, it all comes back to them in the end. All right, there's Janna's exhaust. Jinx is gonna have lethal tempo proc here. Very, very possible to kill. Um, she's pretty low though, and it's pretty big wave, so we'll just chill. Chill over kill here. But yeah, I'm really, really excited about this uh, movie. Uh, I've, I've been wanting to do it for a long time, and I've seen a couple people comment on the other movies, like the Cine movie, um, asking for a Pike one. So here it is, and with the stab. Okay, Jan is actually doing like a pretty good job of frontlining. Getting in Jinx's face when I go on Neela. Alright, we're gonna pop our potion. We don't have Ignite, but I still think it's actually kill possible to kill here. Let's E out of that. I don't want to get like EQ'd by Janna and die. That'd be, that'd be a pretty embarrassing start to the Pike movie to get killed by a Janna. I mean, Neela has no mana at all. Pop her other potion. They're scared, man. They are scared of us. They're running up the river from us, man. Guys, Pike is scary, but he ain't that scary. Come on. But anyways, uh, like I said, I've been wanting to do this Pike movie for a while. I think these long videos are actually just like really, really great to like zone out to or leave on the background or like as they're going to sleep or whatever. Not that Pike is like the most relaxing champion in the world. I think he's pretty intense, but however you guys choose to enjoy the videos. All right. Uh, at this point, they're probably bringing Master Yi bot, but I do. I just don't want to leave with them having such low HP bars. I want to get greedy. You kind of have to get greedy on Pike, honestly. This champion gets outscaled, so you need your early game to be, like, absolutely pristine. Need to get that, you know, gold flowing. Need to get some kills early. Uh, but it looks like they're going to be playing a little too safe. So we're going to go grab our Moby Boots. Grab a Control Ward. We know mid is an immobile squishy with no flash. We're going to run straight there. Yeah, a lot of Pike is just, like, reading the map and, like, knowing which lanes are gankable. Kind of predicting where the jungler is going to be, your jungler and theirs. Looking for those early spicy hooks. But mid is like the most gankable lane of all time because Lissandra's got so much CC. And like I said, TF is just a very squishy boy. Be here for this cannon. Yoink. All right, I'm level five here. Neela's flash is pretty much time to mine. 
So we've got like a 50 second uh, timer, a little bit of a window here where I can still make a play on Neela and she doesn't have flash. So far this Jane is doing a good job of keeping her alive, so might just be looking for roams. Oh. Jana Q, J4 wants to come in on this. Spotted by a ward. Bummer. Minion wave crashed right as I got my hook off. It's okay. Level level six, we're gonna we're gonna get some kills. No doubt in my mind. You could also just like be looking to do a dragon. All right, Neela's flash is up. I have no hook, but got him stunned. Oh, big, big, big. All right. Oh, oh, that hit. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Oh, he has his flashback up. All right, we can hit him at this corner. Uh... Oh. Oh, I actually take two terror shots there. That's crazy. Whatever, it's a one for one. We take those. Risky business out here, boys. Um, I'm gonna grab two long swords. Got a free dragon. I'm about it. That was nice. Everybody was super on board with that invade. Really nice as a pike to have a team that's like actually wants to play aggro early. And we're gonna hit six here. It's just really hard to like make a play on these two champions. Neela get p pushes W and then I can't auto her, which means my Halo Blades is totally useless. And then Janna just blows me away. Not in the good way. Okay. Let's go, baby! Oh my gosh. Big part about playing Pike is just being patient for those ulties. Because if I had ulted initially, uh, Janna would have just flashed out of it. That's huge, though. That's huge. Let's, let's get a play here. I'm going to ult over here just to see a master using that bush. How crazy would it have been if he was actually there? All right. Four and one. Not a bad start. Guys, let's make a deal right now. Let's make a deal for everybody watching this on YouTube. For those of you watching the Pike movie, if I make it to 10 kills in the first game, you have to like the video, okay? It, we, this, is, this is a contractual obligation, all right? If I make 10 kills in game one, because the games are just going to get crazier. This is, this is kind of like a warm-up game, you know what I'm saying? If I make 10 kills in game one, you got to like it. Oh. Oh, he's going to go for it. Oh, he's not. It's really low for me. No ward here. Oh! Well. This is about to get wacky. No, I killed him with my E. Oh my god, what is going on? This guy doesn't have flash. Boom. Come on, J4. There you go. Come on, there we go. Is he alive? Oh, so close. Dude, this is some freaking action, guys. Don't think we'll ever be able to dive this Janna, but we'll get some good plates here. 
Kind of sad my ulti uh, didn't kill set. I knew he was looking to flash over this wall. You can always tell by just by like people's body language, like a general gist of what they're planning to do. You know what I mean? And experienced pike players know the pain of like ulting and then someone flashes out of it. All right, we're going to be going for Umbral Glaive. I, I sometimes I rush Duskblade and then I just think back to this one game that I was playing with Tyler one and I was super far ahead I was like six zero so I went I was like you know what I'm not gonna go umbral I'm I'm, I'm gonna ru I'm gonna be greedy a little bit and I'm gonna rush my Duskblade and then the game got closer like we threw we ended up winning the game but Tyler was like fuming that I went uh Duskblade over umbral he was like hey okay listen hey buddy listen you gotta un you gotta rush umbral you gotta rush the umbral like, okay, Tyler. So every single time, every single time I think about like greeting for Duskblade, I just hear his voice in my head. She goes in on that. Ayoki, hey, listen, kid. You got it, Tyler. She double back. All right, we're gonna take our spell cast with indicators off. It makes it makes Pike's abilities come out like slightly faster. So whenever I miss like a couple hooks in a row, I always just adjust, turn the indicator off or on. Cause it definitely like feels way different. Like with the indicators off, like the character just feels like much more responsive and snappier. Stop his back, keep him in lane. I think actually, um... Beautiful, baby! Oh, give me a- give me a quadra, bro. Give me a quadra. I'm so sad. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna let her think she's safe, and I'm gonna go for a crazy uh, flash play right here. Nope, just kidding. She is she is indeed safe. All right, should be very free dragon. Also, props to this Jinx for not like solo losing the game as I've been roaming all over the. All over the map. I've been top, mid, top, jungle. I've been everywhere. And Jinx has just been hitting turrets, man. The ideal ADC right there. So many ADCs, like, rage. And you roam, even though you're, like, winning the rest of the map. Close is... Nice. Ooh! Yo! Jinx is online, baby. Well played, dude. My Jinx is actually human. Okay. I mean, obviously, Master E is going to Alpha Strike onto the Jinx, so I knew exactly where to put my E. Dan is obnoxious. I don't think I probably should have flashed here. Wait. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm actually out. No way. <laughs> All right. Okay, I guess I don't greed for that. 
He actually just kills me with the red card to the face, man. What? It's a lot of damage. All right. Fine. I'm getting, I'm getting close, close to my dust blade. Well, this way they don't FF now too. Hopefully. Well, maybe, maybe they still do. Nah, they have, they have a master. Yi. No way they FF. That champion never gives up, guys. Kappa. Um. All right. Two and a half minutes till next dragon. We're looking good on drags. We're looking good on scaling. Their bot lane is one and seven. We have given 1,400 gold to my team through my ulti alone. Oh my god. I want the Neela. I want the Neela. Down. Oh? Give me some resets here, boys. Oh, no way that doesn't take her below execution. It's like literally one HP away. Oh my god. Come on, Jinx, be a homie. Not finding that one. Hey, killed her with the hook. Hey! Bro, why is she not dying? Whatever, it's an ace. And we got our 10 kills. We take that, we take that. 10 kills on the game on game one of the Pike movie. That's not bad at all. Jinx might actually go for a deathless game. We've had a uh, we've had a, we've had a couple misplays here and there, but I think we've done a generally good job of accelerating the game, like getting our team on board with like going for plays and stuff. Oh, oh, I feel like I cursed you, man. That's that's on me, Jinx. I literally just mentioned. That she was going for a, a, a deathless game. I mean, the reality of playing Pike is that this game actually is losable. That's like, that's the worst part about playing Pike, and that's also like kind of the best part about playing Pike because it. I feel like it makes you strive to play for pure for perfection. Like, it's not a champion that you can miss position on. It's not a champion that you can die like three times and be okay on. Like, you get out skilled, like really, really fast, and pretty much by everyone. Also, that's a nice, another neat little pike tidbit is that when you hook, like pretty much the, immediately after the hook animation, as you're like, as they're, you know, falling through the air towards you because you hooked them, you can get in an auto attack. So, playing pike's really fun because it's like always looking for those little windows where you could have gotten one more auto. Um. Oh, Neela. What are you doing, girl? Another one. We can do Baron. All right. We are one dragon away from Soul. They haven't FF'd yet. It's 20 minutes. See set bot. Master is pretty much out of the game. I'm just, I'm just gonna stand over here. It's gonna zone this guy. I'm gonna fight this guy. He's afraid of me, boys. He's afraid of the Pike support, as he should be. It's smart of him to be afraid of me. Yeah, 
Okay, we got three top. Someone can set me up for resets. I'll not you you set them up, I'll knock them down. No, oh, onto the trap. Just clearing out all their vision over here, man. Just keeping them completely blind. Get in their faces. Okay. Okay. They did not like that. All right. We're going to win this fight. Oh, there's CC. Oh, big J4 alt. <gasps> Is it enough though? He's got no follow-up. Oh man. Wait, I might have thrown. Wait, we actually just got five for nothing. Wow. I got flash yellow carded into just oblivion. A good example of like why Pike doesn't have a late game. As people start hitting their like two, three, four item power spikes. Pretty much spiked at like one or two items. And not only like do your numbers fall off, like your kit falls off too. Gotta be, gotta be a little smarter than that, Aoki. Swing, swing, swing. All right, we have one turret left. No way, man. Ah! My Q didn't reach. Master E, I guess. Okay, we're like actually throwing now. Hey, hey, my, hey, my bad team. My bad team. I'm trying to show off for the movie. Well, so I can't. I can't believe that Q did a hit though. Which means my ult just didn't execute. Which means I'm just a sitting duck. All right, I'll play with my team now. And I gotta remember, I have 12 of our 27 kills, so I am a valuable member. Yeah, I mean, we've been feeding them like super minions too. They're actually scaling. All right, we'll just fight for this. Only fight for dragon. We're gonna start taking over vision in their bot quadrant. Someone hopefully gets this wave. Clear out all their vision here. No wards. No wards allowed. Wards. Nothing. They are coming into this dragon fight completely blind. Thank you, Umbral. Umbral. I wonder if they fight it. Looks like they might. Look for a little scoop action here. Okay, baby. Triple kill. All right, not bad. We were pretty patient there. We were kind of just like playing along the out sky, out outskirts of the uh, the team fight. Because even though Pike is a like hook champion, you don't really want to be like the primary engage there. All right, nice. It's not going to be game, but we got soul and we just got a lot of freaking gold. Go moves. We'll go. We'll go Axiom Arc. Axiom's always super fun. 16 kills, guys. 16 kills is not bad for the first game. Oh, yeah. Full runes. Uh, pretty much standard pike runes. Sometimes you swap out your secondaries, but... Halo Blades, Cheap Shot, Zombie Ward, Ultimate Hunter, Bone Plating, Unflinching, AD, AD Armor, 
Very, very standard pike runes. Uh, I, I see some people go like electrocute on pike. It's just completely trolling. Like Halo Blades is just way, way, way too good. Extremely high value rune. This guy's... Oh, oh my god. Triple? Give me the pitta. 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 I don't want my ult. It got flashed. Uh, it's not looking like the penta, guys. Unless my team just like... Oh! Okay, Quadra? No! Whatever. I, I hooked her out. It's the, it's the unofficial Quadra. Almost got the pent on game one, guys. 20 kills and 9 assists on our very first game of the Pike movie. Super, super fun. And don't worry, guys. It is only going to get even crazier. So, again, let me know down in the comments if you guys like these types of videos, these longer ones. Uh, it's got education. It's got entertainment. And it's got a whole freaking lot of Aoki on Pike. So, there is the damage charts. We actually did a lot of damage on Pike, which, to be honest, is not very easy. Like, the champion... People think he does a lot of damage, but he really doesn't. So uh, us out damaging, out damaging everyone on the enemy team is absolutely crazy. But uh, I will see you guys in game two. Enjoy the Pike movie. What is up, boys and girls? Welcome back to another Aoki video. Today we are going back to our roots. We are playing Pike support after a long time of not playing any support because we are knee deep into the ADC challenge. We're actually just a couple of games away from completing it. Uh, but I wanted to take a little bit of a break day away from playing ADC to just just go back to support and because they buffed one of my absolutely favorite champions It's almost like Riot is like begging me to come back to the support role They're like, Aoki, you're the greatest support alive. We need you, bro. Please come back. We'll, we'll, we'll give you pike buffs So we're gonna be trying out the pike buffs haven't actually played him um, Since they buffed him, but they put some really nice damage into his E and hopefully it's going to help him out because Pike is definitely uh, on the struggle bus, but I saw that he's actually above 50% win rate on this patch, so it's really, really exciting. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, it just feels so much. Dude, it feels so good. It feels so good to, like, have this level of agency. After playing ADC for, like, two weeks straight, to just be able to, like, walk into lane and, like, make a play happen. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm not just sitting there right-clicking, man. Yo, feels so good. It's just hook after hook after hook, baby. Didn't even have to use my ignite there, by the way. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, give a like on the video for us getting a double kill at level 1 without even igniting, man. We are back. Temporary. Oh. Throw him over there. We are going to throw the ignite on this guy. He's level three. Uh, oh, oh my God. No way. Oh my God, bro. Are you kidding me? They should not have buffed my pike. They should not have buffed my pike. Seriously. If you were watching this on YouTube, give the video a freaking like for that. We just two V Ford basically. We just got four kills at level two, man. That is unbelievable. But yeah, um, I, I, I will say that like playing ADC has definitely given me pers some perspective as to like just how much better support is as a role in laning phase. You know, you always hear people saying like, oh, you know, support determines the lane. If, you, if, you, if you're support bad, you can't do anything in lane. I think that's a little bit exaggerated. But like, for instance, I would as the ADC, I wouldn't have been able to make any of that happen. I would have had to just like pray to God that my pike is as good as my pike. But anyways, that's that's the video, guys. We're going to be showing off the uh, the support support pike buffs. We're back in the support role just for one game. And uh, yeah, just really wanted to come back to uh, just come back to the role. But this does not at all mean that the ADC challenge is canceled. We're going to get back to that for sure because I know a lot of you guys are super invested in enjoying that. Um, another thing that playing ADC has given me in terms of like perspective is like definitely being a little more considerate of like I don't, I, I don't know how to word this like how like what the ADC is trying to do 
like for instance like watching to see like if, if my adc uses his spells to farm like sometimes that's a misplay but you know maybe i just wait like six or seven seconds before trying to force a play in bot lane so i'm definitely not like an adc sympathizer i definitely still think adcs are hilariously bad players but it's given it's given me a little bit of a a little a little bit of sympathy i guess Oh no. I thought Poppy was going to come down for this dive. I guess you want to gromp instead. Yeah, it, it, it's always good to just like, I don't know. I, I really think everybody should just take a little bit of a break from their role and like do like get on a different account and just try out the other roles. Just, just so, just to, you know, make yourself better at your actual role. Like I definitely think there's value in playing ADC to get better at support. And I'm sure like playing a role like jungle, like for instance, I've been doing like mid lane Mondays and it's absolutely like made me understand like what my mid laner wants out of his support. Which has made me a better support. So it's just all about like perspective and all that. Anyways, I'll shut about, I'll shut up about all this. Let's just, let's just have us a really nice, fun, violent pipe game with the new buffs. Uh, full runes, you got Halo Blades, Cheap Shot, Zombie Ward, Treasure Hunter, Bone plating, unflinching, aid the armor, MR. By the way, Treasure Hunter is absolutely going to be terrible next patch. Um, I'm only going it on this patch before they nerf it. But yeah, ne next next patch is getting like really, really hard nerfed. I actually missed. I think it's Blast Cone. It's kind of funny that their jungler is like afraid to fight me. Okay, let's go back down to bot. See if we can make something happen here. Oh yeah. Hmm, that's not bad. Got Vigar's flash. You can only do that once. Also helps that I'm like leaning with a Yasuo rather than like a marksman. Kinda sucks I can't E forward there. I can't even use the buffed E because freaking Vigar Cage. But the EQ auto, this is not gonna kill me. It's gonna come really close though. Woo, baby! God, it feels good to be back. Mm, I gave Yasuo a lot of solo XP. I was gonna say he's, he's gotta be about to hit six. Oh, I missed that. That was an easy dive if I landed that. Uh, I don't think we should do it now. Tristan is going to be on our way back to lane. If I landed that hook, that was for sure just like an easy, easy kill. I'm out. Uh, looks like there's a lot of action going on on the top side of the map. Need to be up there. As a pike with like an early lead. Definitely want to... I don't want to just, like, keep going bot and, like, killing them over and over and over again. A lot of the support role is... Oh, come on, bro. A lot of the support role is, like, spreading that lead to the rest of the map, you know? What happened? How did he die? Also, I just noticed we have, like, a really, really bad team comp, so... We need to really be playing at maximum capacity here. Tank Teemo top and a AP Twitch mid that's losing. Nothing wrong with AP Twitch if it gets ahead, but it's a very, very useless pick if it's behind. Alright, let's hit level 6. But yeah, I actually think, uh, I actually really like the, uh, the pike buff. Because how many times have, like, we gotten them within, like, 1 HP worth of execution? And they just live, and then you don't get your pentakill. You get zero kills. I don't know. Like, I I, th I think if you're going to buff Pike, buffing his damage is for sure, like, just the straight-up best way to go. Like, he's already super mobile. He's already super squishy. You know, you don't want to turn him into a freaking tank.
Oh. He's crazy. He's like an actual crazy person. Let's W here, get my gray health back. Yeah, I'm just missing these initial engagement hooks, which makes uh, the follow-up combo really hard. Oh no, we're dropping so many plate spot too. Actually, I, I might be able to 2v2v1 two two v these guys. Nope, they're just playing too safe. Down here for the XP. Dude, I still can't get over the fact that we, we went 4-0 at level 2. Yeah, I gotta roam. Careful in the 2v1, bro. He's got a nice little uh, CS lead, though. Having a CS lead as a melee champion is pretty massive. I don't think I can kill Yorick. I want I want to hit this Vex. Uh oh, this guy's dead. Already dead. Yeah, slam her into the wall. Alter while she CC'd. Yasuo absolutely was not careful in the 2v1 like I asked him to. Okay. Okay, boys. Now this this is a, this is an old familiar feeling. My ADC being an absolute ding dong. Hide on the bush. Yeah, Rift Hero going mid. Hopefully that somewhat puts the Twitch back into the game. Uh, ulti again in 25 seconds. Etheon is hovering mid, which is literally just dead. Eh, maybe he's not. Coming up, actually. Dude, that Vex is doing so much. I hate it when people lock in like such worthless characters. Like, I'm just not a big fan of like AP Twitch. Pretty much ever. Maybe some people feel the same way about Pike. I doubt it though. That sucks. All right, how's my Yasuo doing? He's not dead yet, so that's a that's an improvement. I feel like I'm just like going back and forth, like putting out fires. Beautiful. Probably didn't need to actually flash there. I think my E would have just been like, probably would have connected no matter what, but we wanted to get a little flashy with it, you know what I mean? Not die. I have someone behind her. All right, let's try to play for a dragon. Luckily, we put some gold on Yasuo there. Oh, if she plays this right, she can knock her out of her jump. No, she should have gone around this way. Okay, Justana's gonna reset. And can we stop that? Broski? Oh. Good kill. I'm gonna shove in this before we go dragon. Should be ours. Only way they win this is if like Vex gets like a god tier ult and wipes us all. It's Vex. Just gonna get it in her face. I don't think she can one shot me. Oh, Timo. Timo. Nice, got a dragon. Ooh. Okay, dodge the ult. Not bad. Not bad. Going 
actually a higher level than their jungler. That early kill like really did a freaking number on them. Guys, I, I can't express to you how much more like in my element I feel on this roll. Oh no. To the alcove. You, you got Poppy coming. Freaking Twitch died again, man. Zero four. Nice. Zero four zero. Oh, we got the Heart Steel Teemo coming though. Don't worry, boys. Oh. Yeah, I guess I I guess I actually just like I, I've spent a lot of time and effort trying to get like mid back into the game, but I think he's just like he's just gapped. So I shouldn't be putting too much. <laughs> well it's something. Okay. okay, there we go, team. There we go, boys. Good job. Yeah, Yasuo died and said, hee 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 hee. <laughs> what a game. What a game this is going to be. Oh, that is such a cool, like, home guards animation. He freaking rides a dragon. That's like, um... Didn't he used to like do that in Dragon Ball Z? Like when he was a kid, he would like write. Oh no, he he wrote a cloud, didn't he? That's awesome though. I love that. All right, we got Mythic on Yasuo. I want to try and come and get this cannon, then we'll go back to bot. The idea here is we want to crack open this turret, and then get out of bot lane. Deja vu. <laughs> Knocked him out of his stun. It's me. Oh, that's good. Oh no. Man, he freaking flashed my ulti. I should have been. I should have been more careful about it. I, f I forgot how like precise you have to play as Pike. You have to like always be thinking about like. You know, do they have flashes and do they have dashes and summoner heal timer and all right well they're kind of like on the defensive here so we're just going to take over their bot jungle get some wards going sweep out other vision nobody's getting mid he's getting the mid wave oh we can hit vexo we can have vex her flash. She gone. Oh, is she gone though? She gone. Oh, am I gone? Oh, I can't see her. Wait, Vex went in and I just could never see her. No. All right. Well, that's a disaster. It's okay. That's Pantheon's flash. That was weird. Uh, all right. Got Pantheon's flash. Tristana's exhaust. What's crazy is that like it really feels like we're in the lead. I literally haven't even died. But if, if I die and give my like shutdown to someone, we could actually just lose the game. That'd be a very very hard game, boys. Also, I've actually seen like a couple people going Eclipse Pike. That seems wrong to me because like Dustblade is just the perfect item for him. Because one, like it makes you turn invisible, and as an assassin, the, the, that that's that's what you're supposed to do. You know, you're supposed to pop in and out of vision, get the one shot, get out. But also, it pops when you get a kill or an assist, and then you get your gray health.
I really want to go for a flash all here. Beautiful. Beautiful, baby. Oh my god, we were so patient there. And also, notice I put my ulti on the other side of Pantheon because Pantheon has an ability, his E blocks damage from the direction that it's caused, like the damage is being caused by. So if you if he has a shield up and you ult behind him, then the direction of his the damage is behind him, so it doesn't get blocked. A little bit of a little bit of game knowledge there, boys. A little bit of champion knowledge. That was huge though. Oh my god. Woo! 9-0, dude. I forgot how like stressful this champion is though, because you always feel like you're on a timer. It's like this champion gets outscaled harder than anybody in the game. This becomes really, really hard late game to like get actual picks, you know? All right, I've given my team 1,500 gold though. 1,500 just through my ultis. Down's bot. <laughs> They're scared, boys. We've got them shaking in their boots. I wish I had someone who could, like, farm these camps. Because I'm getting, like, all kinds of crazy deep vision, but... Can't actually, like, take, it, take their camps away from them. Oh. <laughs> Every time I charge up my Q, they just flash. Oh, that was a good dodge. Oh, I got someone else, though. <laughs> They're winning that? They're winning that. Nice. Can I solo kill Tristana? Bro, they're so scared of me. Oh my god. I've never seen them be like more terrified of a support. They're cutting me off. I can go through here. Oh, nice, nice, nice. We took their turret so I can get... I'm actually out. No way. <laughs> I love Pike. I love Pike, man. All right. Ooh, here we go, baby. Here we go. 11 and freaking zero, guys. I'm telling you, they should not have buffed Pike. They should not have buffed my Pike. All right, we gotta keep make sure we keep getting these uh, dragons though. I'm telling you, this is a losable game. Even though I'm 11 and zero on on a lot of champions, if I'm 11 and zero, game's over. But Pike, it's just genuinely never over. Kind of glad they didn't go in on me there, because I don't think Twitch can kill these guys fast enough. They definitely would have gotten my shutdown, and it's a thousand gold. Twitch. Oh, Twitch, what are you doing? Just had to remind her who the boss is. All right, that's not good. We lose an entire inhib. Oh man, my team is griefing so hard. 
We lose inhib or is it just turret? Oh, please tell me it's just turret. Oh god. Oh god, kill it. Alright, it's just turret. It's just turret. Let's go get our dragon. Bro, how is this a hard game, man? How is this a hard game? I'm freaking 12-0. I mean, I can't actually go DPS it. I need to be zoning. Oh, man. That was close. Pantheon stunned me there. I was dead and we gave a thousand gold. Oh boy. I can't get in here. Timo's like not even coming. Okay, that was that was that was kind of poorly played by me. We need to get Baron. Yeah, I couldn't find an entrance there, and then I just missed that cue. That was hard. Luckily, my team actually performed there. Good job, guys. We, we need this Baron, though. We need this. Oh, I can't tank. I can't tank it, lads. on this god tell me that oh my god oh my god no way no way oh we i we might actually lose this though no way man that's so sad i mean it is what it is we, we didn't have a control word in the pit so they just had vision of it guys team please please well I mean it, if anything this is like a nice reminder of what playing the support role is like it is just mental torment playing out of your mind and watching your team around you fail yeah we just need to be looking for picks at this point Got him. I'm gonna waste my ulti. Please, 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 poison, 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 please. Yes! Okay, York is bot. I'm gonna take over here. Just kind of pressure them. Yeah, Pantheon's not uh, quite as scared as he used to be of me. Okay, got their bomb. Didn't die. Not bad. Uh, we need to leave. We need to leave. Guys, please leave. Uh, I'm gonna go down on this guy. See if we can find this Yorick. Where'd he go? Alright, we've got soul in two minutes. All we gotta do is play for soul. Play for soul. Play for soul, boys. All we gotta do is play for soul. Let's go edge of night. Oh yeah, I forgot they nerfed Umbral actually. So they gave Pike a direct buff with, to his damage, but they nerfed his like main item. Bit of a trade-off. One minute, guys. One minute. We already did the hard part. We got the first three dragons. Now it's just the easy one, boys. Take his blast cone. And we could 
be fishing for a pick right here. I'm so sad that I wasted my ult on that. Timo has to go top right now. Timo has to go top right now. Timo, go top. There you go. There you go. And we're gonna get the we're gonna get the dragon. Um, maybe we actually just threaten an end. Twenty seconds. Okay, thankfully my jungler is going to dragon. We lose our inhibitor, which kind of sucks, but I think we get dragon and double inhibs, which would be really nice. He's actually teeping. He's scared of us ending the game. All right, all right. I'm feeling much better about this game now. That was huge that we found that uh, pick on Vigar. We got the we got the soul. Hopefully we got the soul. Good girl, Poppy. That was really, really good delegation there, guys. Yasuo got the mid. I got the bot. Poppy got the dragon. Twitch died. We all played our part. Oh, shoot. Stop my back. Whew. All right, let's do this, baby. Let's do this. Let's clutch it. Grab an elixir of iron, because I'm pretty sure whatever fight we take next is going to be the uh, the game winner. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Watch that. Holy lord, that ulti. That ulti was literally just praying that he took like 10 more damage. Because when I pressed R, he was not actually in execute range. That was pretty sick. Woo! 14 0. Oh! <laughs> I went through a shroom. What? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of afraid of that thing, not gonna lie. I've been one tapped by too many Yorks in my day. Alright, reset and then dragon. Okay. Oh no, Yasuo, what are you doing? That's not in the plan! That wasn't on the itinerary! Oh, he, never mind. He's just skilled. He's just too skilled. There you go, buddy. Alright, we can end it. We can end it. We don't even need Baron. <clears throat> Cruising down mid lane. Got my Edge of Night. Got my Yomus. Yeah, that's my ADC, boys. That's my ADC. <laughs> Hit him with the dubstep ignite. Guys, we went 16 and 0 on our first game back to support. Well, not really our first game, but you know what I mean. On our break game from ADC. We just had to come back and remind you guys what Ioki on support really looks like. Holy lord. 16 and 0 with the new buffed pike. Absolutely unbelievably crazy game. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Come on, we earned it after that. Make sure you like the video. Yada yada. Let's take a look at the damage charts. Now, the damage charts for pike are ne usually like not really all that high because the champion just doesn't do that much damage. But with these new damage buffs. Ah, we actually did pretty good damage. 20,000. We actually outdamaged everyone on their team except for Vex and barely Yorick. So, absolutely cracked game. Loved it. I'm always going to be a support, guys. And I think that game speaks to that. So, let me know what you guys think of the, about the build and strat down in the comments, boys. Take it easy. Peace out.
What is up, boys and girls? Welcome back to another Aoki and Highs video. Today, we are going to be creating the world's longest Pike E. So, obviously, Pike's E, Phantom Undertow. We dash forward, and then everyone caught in the area is stunned. Well, guess what? My boy Heisman on Zillion is going to be supercharging my E, and it's going to be super long, and we're going to stun the whole team with it. It's going to be awesome. Yes, sir. I mean, we this is our second Zillion video in three days. You guys are getting spoiled. We love, we but... love Zillion. Well... Ioki likes Pike. I like Zillion. It's a ma it's just meant to be. True, true. Yeah, we're against a, like a pretty obnoxious comp, but I believe. Okay, so now we hard shove, right? Um, we, we they got the shove. We can we can just chill. They're gonna shove into us, and then we'll get them at level two. Okay. Sounds good. Got it. It's nice. Oh, oh! she hit the bomb and. <laughs> I love it. All right, I might look for something here. When's your bomb? Uh, uh five seconds. Sorry. Okay. Five seconds. Okay, it's up. Get it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna wait. Yeah, I'm just gonna poke. Okay. Because they just like keep grouping up. Yeah. It's too perfect. Kill this. Tr bang, bang. Beautiful. She's dead. She's dead. Just run. Nice. There we go, Let's baby. Go. Well played. Well played. All right. I've we got another E ready. Bird. I don't have W for four seconds. If you pull that, I can get him. I don't think we have the damage. Yeah, we don't. That was well played, though. Huge. You got their flash. Both their flashes now. Sir. Oh, and we're winning mid. That's something new. A winning mid lane on Ioki United's channel. Who would have <laughs> thunk? I can actually can kill his turrets pretty fast. Uh, I'm just gonna back here. Okay. So yeah, uh, we're gonna we're gonna chill out in laning phase. Well, I mean, we chill out. We just casually gotta kill them, <laughs> blew their flash. But, <laughs> but basically, hard, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do the uh, like the world record longest pike e thing. When Zillion like has his E maxed, he's gonna supercharge me. I'm gonna E, and it's, I'm just gonna like go so freaking far. It's gonna be fun. Um, I'm gonna go. I think I go Shirelia's. I I like don't like going damage Zillion, but maybe we need the. I don't know. Looking at our team, we don't really need damage. Yeah, I'm like, done so for Shirelia's. You, you you can make me fast too. Yeah, I was gonna say I'll make it even faster. Saving up my XP too. I haven't, I haven't given you a golden shower yet. Bro, why do you call it that? I'm going. She, she's, uh, she's alone. Uh, I can slow her again. She's slow. Just keep autoing. Going back in. Run. Oh, we're, we're doing this. There's a big minion wave. Careful. I'm Got out. Cannon. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. nice. Yeah, I was just hiding in that part of the bush, trying to get my gray health, because I thought it was going to W. Oh! Oh! What is this? Wait, what? She's black. <laughs> what is this? Oh, uh, you I've... can't kill me in the zillion. I'll body block. Oh, I've... I can't body block, actually. It's Olaf. How's that not stunned, by the way? <laughs> okay, you got, you got your mid laner coming. You got this, you got this. Oh my god, bro, I tried. That's crazy. Go get him, baby. Come on, get something for us, team. Get something oh. here. Oh my god, what, what was, was what was this? What is this? Yeah, at least the least got him. Alright, we got two. Right. We got two of them. I'm happy with that. We got three of them, actually. Oh, bro, these Lux cues are wild. And he still gets the kill, though. Alright, nice job. That was wacky. Wait, they, they all chatted, what is our problem? What? I don't I don't know. Why did you try to survive our gank, man? Yeah. <laughs> Just let us kill you next time. Dude, my auto attack speed is horrible.
Gonna keep bombing. Just keep bombing. Just keep bombing. Um, I don't have any words. Hello, anybody in here? Ah, uh, I thought he was gonna. Okay, we're chilling. Got at least down here. Slow her if you can. Him. Okay. Timer it is. Nice. nice. He's like our little consolation prize. <laughs> I went for the Kaisa, but it's fine. This Kaisa's typing, I can tell. Oh, yeah. I can tell by it when she stops right after her teammate dies. She's so fast. Oh, not fast enough. She's dead. She's dead. I got her. You got her. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I love this. I love these champs. Alright. Let's get one plate. Let's get that out. Two plates. Two plates? Ah, uh, one plate. One plate. Stupid Jaime's here. Oh, it's two to ten. It's looking like a little bit of a limit test angle. Oh, it looks like at least limit tested for us. Okay. GG. Right, I'm out of mana. I'm out of mana. Okay. Yeah, we bounce. We out of here. I'm gonna go Moby Boots too, for the extra okay. extra distance. <laughs> Wait, their mid lanes their only good player though. What? Shirelia's, where you at? There you are. Jungle gap. I gotta make sure they don't FF because we gotta get to the point in the game where you can uh, go really fast and fly with your E. But I can level you up to six if you want. Yeah, yeah, I want it. Uh, never mind, you're six. No excuses, level me up, you promised. <laughs> she flashed, okay. Pansy. Oh, you, I vault. Oh, wow. She healed out of it. Bummer. All right. Oh, nice. my God. It Thank barely God went off. off. Thank you, turret. Oh. Oh. Wait, Emi? Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, they got dragon. They're definitely coming down here. Yeah, there's a lot of people. Eh. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, wait. I'm out. I'm going to be out. Nope. Olaf. Oh, Kaisa. Oh, Olaf. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was awkward. All right. They're bot their Kaisa's 05. <laughs> We've been doing some dirty things to this Kaisa. Very, very dirty. Oh, I'm so close to Shirelia's. Get it next time. Even though Alexa's is four one, I don't have faith in her after watching her Q. I do, it dude. Was, so. Her Qs are insane. Yo, Emi, Emi. Oh, the instant flash. Oh, you got him. Oh, let's go. I like that though. I like that E sped up though. Um, it's definitely winnable. I have all. Oh, 
Oh, you sold all. Holy God. Oh no. No. Okay, I did not realize he had mythic. When I said it was winnable, I think I might have fibbed. I if if he, his alt literally had like a half a second left, he, otherwise he would have gotten stunned and died for killing for killing me. Oh well, I got my Shirelias now. Nice. Wait, speed me. I just want to see my E. That's only with two points, by that's, the way. Yeah, that's pretty long, and it's only, we're like not even like one third of how long it's gonna get. Yeah. Oh, I could go. I could go. Prowler's Claw too and make it even longer. Ooh. All right. Do you want to just go? Honestly, I got all the ten. Um. Here, Kaisa, do where's this. Kaisa? I'm just gonna double slow. Him. It actually, kills me. I got me. all for you. Two seconds. Using it. <laughs> oh, nice. Just keep autoing. Ha! Dude, this is OP. I uh, like this. Not bad. Just thought she was all clever using that ult. Like I didn't see that coming. I got cannon. Oh! Uh, I'm fine. I was limit testing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. All you, baby. Oh, I still got it. Nice. Uh, looks like you're dead. That oh, actually dead. still hits me. That still hits me, man. Crazy, bro. It's all good. It's all good. They got to keep sending Olaf down here. Rubbing yeah, I mean away. he's lost his entire turret. Like, it's not it's not great for him. It's just annoying to die to it so many times. <laughs> Dude, I, my bombs are hurting. They are hurting. Okay, I'm gonna speed you. What am I watching, Top? Okay, we got our work cut out for us this game, bro. Speed me. Two seconds. Oh, so close. You got cannon? Nice. Sir. Ah! Oh, even my haircut. Oh god, we're feeding tank Vigar. Ha! Bro, nice. it's like clockwork. We can probably dive. I've Guy all... clockwork, because you're zillion. Yeah. Look who's here. Oh, the Shirelius! <laughs> Make a run for it, eyes! I flash. <laughs> I have ult. He's dead. He's, he's still dead. confused. He, he's confused. He's dead. Please he's kill dead. him. Oh, no, kill. oh, man. I'm I so sad. All right, send it. Our whole team's here. Nice. Get on the wave. Dude, the, uh, the freaking Olaf was like, I'm gonna hit the zillion. No, I'm gonna hit the pike. No, I'm gonna hit the zillion. Oh <laughs> he was, was look. Great. He was looking I dizzy need, out there. I literally need one wave for my. Okay. There we go. All right, I got it. I'm just gonna bomb. Let's get out of here. Perfect. I got my uh, seraphs now. I'm very strong. Back to bot lane, or should we rotate? Um, let's keep going bot till we get this turret. Okay. I got prowlers now. Okay, I got three points in E now. Two, still two to go. 
Nice. Oh god, it's this idiot. I think we can kill him, 2v1. Trade your ult uh, for his ult. Oh, actually, we. Oh, okay, okay. He's got nothing now. Nice. Nice. Wasn't sure if he was gonna one shot you. Yeah, I I appreciate it because he probably could have, like auto stride breaker Q kills me. Yeah. Comes out in millisecond. Oh. We're gonna go on an adventure mid. Okay. Coming. Nice. They go. Very nice. What <laughs> is this guy? Alright, not gonna lie, this Vigar is like kinda scary. Yeah. Be very careful around him. He's super tanky and he's gonna do disgusting damage. Going right. Yomu so I can speed myself up too. Oh, good idea. I'm going uh, Cosmic Drive. <laughs> What's going on in all chat? Dude, I, I'm trying to figure that out too. <laughs> People are weird, man. Of some bot. <laughs> Bro, it's automatic. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm getting so much gold from this, too. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, Holy God. Shit. It's him. It's him. It's the forbidden one. Uh oh. Oh yeah, Olaf's just like getting free turret spot. Oh. Run, Heisman. Oh god. I'm alive? Yeah, I think, I, you're, I, have I think you're still gonna die though. Oh wait, we have a turret still. Nice. What? Dude, Olaf's like on our inhibitor. Can, is, is nobody gonna answer that? What the hell? There we go. Nice. nice. Holy god, this guy just took three freaking turrets. Get in there. Alright, I gotta play it slow because you don't have ult though. 13 seconds on my ult. This guy's Usain Bolt, man. What is this? He actually is. What the hell? Oh, he's got Swifty boots. Goodbye, life. Wait, I live. Nice. Alright, we got four points in E now. Nice. One more. Dude, these guys are so mad. Yeah, I'll back with you. Wherever you go, I go. Following you, my friend. Lux has a good position. Looking for that sweet, sweet cheese. Does she land it? <laughs> Doesn't need to. Good god. Keep going, keep going. I got I got the stun. Slow. Oh yeah. Oh my oh. god. He's oh. too tanky, he's too tanky. Wait, come back to me. Oh boy. Alright, I, I gotta get out. Okay. Save yourself. Get the dragon. Nice. No, she flashed my Q. Wait, if you come over the wall, I can speed you. Well, I don't know where you're at. I got her. I got her. <laughs> I lost you. <laughs> nice. I'm too fast to keep track of. This Olaf's just like on pure split duty. It's so cringe.
Get him. There you go. This guy's so mad. <laughs> okay, I'm Max E now. Let's do the combo. And you killed Olaf. Nice. Right, I'm going back to get Cosmic Drive, and then we're we're doing the lot. We're making the lot. Okay, okay, okay. Effect. Yep. I'm gonna pop my Yomus. You're gonna E me. I've got Mobis. I'm gonna E. Give it, let's do a little test run. Okay, okay. I won't use any of the other things, but... Oh, oh my god. Oh my lord. Here. Okay, okay, okay. This next one's the real one. I'm okay. ready, ready, ready. Okay. Go. Oh, I don't I don't have my W yet. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Okay, it's okay. Wait, send it, send it. Oh! Oh, what? no way! Sorry, you still got her. I got <laughs> robbed, but that was that amazing, bro. I'm literally the flash. <laughs> Again? Yeah, yeah. I don't want to go in on that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I literally have no cooldown, so. Dude, the E? Oh my god, that, that one on Kaiso is amazing. Uh oh. I'm alive! Hallelujah! Rip. Ow. Nice stun. There we go. Oh man. All right, I'm gonna yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do it on Lilia. Stay with me. I'm gonna I'm gonna find her. Yeah, yeah. Send Two, it. Two, one. Wait, you're out of range. There you go. Oh my god. <laughs> I die for it, but it was fun. It was worth. Uh -huh. <laughs> This is so fun. You have 15 kills. Holy <laughs> shit. Right, I'll just, I'm Dude, backing. Now. I still can't get over that one on Kaisa, man. Like, imagine just seeing a pike dash at you from three screens away. I don't know how I didn't hit her, though. <laughs> Me neither. I actually think it was a bug. Like, the game, like, can't keep up with how fast I am. <laughs> just, I literally have no desire to play this game unless you're on my screen, so I'm waiting. That was the most romantic thing you've ever said to me, Heisman. <laughs> Uh, let's go, baby. Holy shit. Dude, my so my E light can barely keep like catch me. Like my my after shadow or whatever. Alright, alright. I'm, I'm gonna hit elixir? him here. Tell me when. So yeah, I got an elixir. Uh, one second, go. <laughs> oh! He's dead. I have such a low alt cooldown that like I don't mind. I, I can do it again. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit! Go again. <laughs> uh, my E. I got it. I got. Unfortunately, I still have cooldowns, but I'm ready now. Yeah, if he shows up on our screen. That's that's so funny. I got the tower. Easy. I had all, by the way. I could have lived. Probably gets you afterwards, I guess, but... Just wasn't paying attention. Alright, what do I build now? Hmm. More CDR. Yes. Banshee's Veil wouldn't be bad. Alright, I'm gonna use everything this time. I'm gonna try to use my, my Yomus, my Flash. I We are literally going to E this person from like four screens away. Okay, I'm up in 15. What are these fucking guys talking about? I have no idea, man. Uh, Elise? Sure about that? Alright, give me like a two second heads up, so I'll be ready to use everything, and I'm gonna use everything. Okay. To work a little, little bit closer. I'm ready when you are. Ah, uh, there's a cage, there's a cage, there's a cage. Okay, okay. And he's dead. Four seconds on my E. Okay. Two, one, and go. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. I got all ribbon. 
Oh my god! Wait, we where's the penta? Hit. Where's the penta? Where's the penta? We're gonna find it. We're gonna find the penta. Where you at, Olaf? We're gonna find him. He might be in base. No, here what it is. is. I don't have a hole. No, no, man. My luck's in it all, bro. That's so sad. It's alright, I got him. <laughs> Yo, my Lux is actually trying to chaos my Penta there, by the way. That's crazy. There is no other reason to hold on to ult. Well, I'm not playing the game. You're not on the screen. Dude, my bobs are doing so much, actually. All right, let's get out. My financial advisor is calling me, but I've got, I've got more important things to do. Yeah, actually, though. I, I should answer it and be like, I can't talk right now. I'm making the world's longest pike E. <laughs> All right, I'm up. Uh, oh, Kaiser just went in. Speed me. <laughs> Look around that. It's so funny. You just run past them. <laughs> She's 0 and 14. <laughs> okay, I got another speed up. And I got a piss pu pu puddle. Oh. I'm gonna go in. Give me all, give me all, give me all. Oh, I, I didn't start taking dirt. Oh no! Oh, literally just dude, right that sucks. I thought right. I was gonna get turret. That's all right. We get all, we get everything. The whole base. This was a super fun one. Yeah, uh, this really was. Guys, let us know down in the comments what other like crazy pike combos we can do because I freaking love playing pike or zillion combos. Just let us know what you guys want to see in general. As always. True. I think that's it. I'm still a little salty about the pentakill because Lux literally was trying to take it. But it is what it is. Oh, I thought it was going to be a triple stun. I mean, I'm just bullying them. <laughs> Pike won uh, a duo. I could never leave my Zillion. GG. Let's go. Oh my goodness. What a fun game. There's the the world's longest pike E. Anything with Zillion is obviously fun, but that was a really good time. That was, all, that was awesome. That, that is the end of the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment below, some ideas for the channel, and as always, make sure you're subbed for Daily Aoki and Heist uploads. We'll see you guys tomorrow for another one. Until then, enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out, guys. Peace out. Uh... What is up, boys and girls? Welcome back to another Ioki video. Today, we are playing the Pike combo that is literally cheating. I've heard this called, like, Sticky Bandits. I've, I've heard this called, like, the Undodgeable Pike Stun, stuff like that. Uh, I don't know what to call it. It is Pike Tarek, and basically, I mean, these two champions are just really, really good together no matter what. But the real secret sauce is that Tarek is going to uh, connect to me. He's going to charge up his stun, and then I'm going to dash into their face at the very last second, which makes gives them absolutely zero time to react. It is really, really, really funny. <laughs> I need the gold, bro. I need I need the dopamine after the day I've had. <laughs> It's also, we got, we got our boy Koogie Woogie on uh, Tarek. Say hi, Koogie. It's my specialty pick, guys. Yo, you're in for a treat. Yes, sir. These double support bot lanes are always so fun. They really are. Like, no matter what it is. Like, double hook, double enchanter. There's just so much degeneracy you can do. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's the combo, guys. <laughs> do you guys think she had fun there?
And then obviously, you know, there's even more like insane things that we can do like once Tarek's level 6 because I can just dash in and like Pike's usually really, really squishy and vulnerable, but he just makes me invincible. So yeah, it's going to be a fun video. It's going to be a fun game. I have had like a string of the five most insanely tilting games of all time. And I've always said the best way to get untilted is to just untilt someone else or is just tilt someone else. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think you're tilted. Oh my god, it's working, it's working. I feel untilted already. There's still a lot of work to do though. Oh, good. Oh. Not to mention, we just have like an insane CC combo in, in general. His stun, my hook, my stun. Lots of fun to be had. Also, we have a Thresh top, so that'll be interesting. Uh, I'm ready when you are. Yeah, go. Cool. <laughs> what? What is she supposed to do there? Uh, you can't. You can't lean against it. Oh. All you can do is just try to outscale it. I'm good. Um. Our, yeah, we could do it. We could set it. Ready? Yeah. Uh, I'm looking at Burr. Are you ready? Go. Yeah. Go. Yeah. There's a menu there. Oh. I didn't even see it. All right, I got lots of gold to spend. I'm yeah, sure you do too. Yeah, yeah. But three kills at level three is not bad, guys. Not I am wondering who calls it the Sticky Bandits. The what? The Sticky Bandits. <laughs> Don't stop my back again, Brand. Come on, bro. Plus. Alright, I'm just gonna rush Duskblade. I wanna just have straight up raw damage. That sounds correct. How's your day going, Coog? Oh, I just woke up. Just woke up? Wait. Isn't it, isn't it like 2 o'clock there? <laughs> We're both Eastern. How, who is, where do you think <laughs> I live? <laughs> I forgot we're in the same time zone. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. You just wake up. <laughs> no, unfortunately. Okay, yep. Oh, hello, Nunu. All right, I've got hook in five seconds. Okay, three, two, one, stunning. Nice. Brilliant <laughs> Souls got all our minions in a nice little bundle for us. I'm not really sure why I got sweeper, but I did. I like it. Oh, I'm ready. Oh, you tanked. Perfect. Good night. Per per oh! Where is it? I'm coming back for you! Sticky bandits, stay together! Oh my god! Oh my god. No. <laughs> oh no. Good dash. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, seven seconds uh -oh. on my dash. I'm, I'm just gonna try to keep this guy off you. Okay. Uh oh. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, it's not okay. It's not okay. It's okay. Oh, it's kind of okay. It's, it's okay-ish. It is complete chaos. My favorite kind of games. Honestly, I forgot Zeri was in the game until I saw that little laser. <laughs> CDR boots here for sure. Not really going to be roaming, so I don't want to go Mobies. Just want to have more stun. More stun, more fun. Uh, neither of these guys have flash now. Yeah. Dude, how insane is it that you just like stood your ground against that Nunu? I mean, this character, like, if you let him just auto you, he just... Yeah. He just wins early game. It's like, fighting him off. No stun yet. Okay. What's the, what's the cooldown on that? Uh, 
It's like 11, but it goes down when it auto attacks up. Oh. Yeah, my, my bad. I didn't know the signal was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice done. Edge. Okay. Oh, he's level six. How's this guy level six? I don't know. Sorry, XP has been taken more than I thought. Um. Yo, day's coming about again. There's no way Nunu like literally snowballs down bot again, right? We snowball in mid instead. Yo, I'm I'm gonna eat like over this wall. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna wait till she's like right here. Send it. Oh no. Protect me, Tarek. Wait, having a Tarek is OP. I swear if I have like a normal ADC, I just die there. Uh oh. I tried to alt out just for to live. Get him, Tarek. No. Uh -oh. Sticky bandits died together. Less? Unless? Holy lord. <laughs> that champion's weird. She's so fast. Avenged. I gotta make this guy think that I'm not going for him, and I gotta go for him. We take those. Okay with that. Okay, that the part about not being able to kill Malphite ever might be a thing. Oh god. No no no, we have Aurelian Soul. Certainly he carries, right? Hopefully. It's it's fine, Kook. We just here's the thing. We just need to like treat it like a mathematical equation. We need to maximize our fun right now. Because I don't think the late game's gonna be very fun. But this is fun. You're having fun, right? I'm having fun. <laughs> I think this is I don't know how if we're gonna have fun later, you're right. But hopefully <laughs> you know. Hopefully it's not too bad. Dude, oh my. What is this camp, man? Praying for you, bro. Oh. My god, am I just slow for the rest of my life? <laughs> Jesus, that slow actually lasted like seven seconds. It's okay, Aurelian Souls got the wave. Nice. God, that Thresh is going lethal tempo AD. <laughs> is it AD? Oh! Oh! The dragons are teaming up on him! <laughs> My god! Get him, driver, and okay, that's the same level okay. of support. Uh. Uh. Nice. That guy, um. They have no jungle. Yeah, winnable, right? Winnable. Come you want you want to get out of here? That's so lame. It it took my freaking A too.
Okay, okay, okay. The, the, what? That was so close. That's so dumb, man. Like, he actually just like gets out of all my CC over and over again. Oh, we got the dragon. We got the dragon. It's okay. It's okay. Our valiant sacrifice. Every second that we bought there mattered. That was wild. I hate this champion, by the way. It's so whack. Yeah, whenever I play meta band that. No, oh, thank you. Six zero Yone. Wait, wait, what? Wait. It pulled the Nunu while he was ulting. <laughs> this game just gets weirder every day, dude. Nunu was moving around while he ulted. All right, yeah, well. let's do the combo before we die. And I, like if I eat, I would go behind him there. It was like a little awkward. Gotcha. Well, I have it again. Really? Okay, I'm ready. Yeah, ready. Go. Seconds on my ult. <laughs> this freaking guy, man. Objective yeah, bounties. Who, who is it giving objective bounties to? Us for sure. It has to be us, right? It has to be. Why are we getting objective bounties? It doesn't even make sense. Why do we need them? This game's dumb. Uh, I'm ready when you are. Alright. And go. I'm stuck in the minions. Unreal. Unfreaking real. Oh. Oh, nice. Okay, a kill oh. on Aesol. That's big. He says you can also not int. Am I inting? I'm 11 and 5 as support. Like, fighting into like 9 Nunu ganks. Have you tried not inting, bro? <laughs> what am I supposed to do, bro? <laughs> Why is our jungler full clearing? Okay, AD Thresh is gonna get the subjective bounty. confused as to how we're down levels. I don't know. That's an interesting account name you got there, by the way. I think I named it myself. <laughs> Souls here. Oh. Oh god. Yeah. I'm the enter, by the way. Oh my god, I just griefed us so hard. Dude, I'm not even. I missed my alt. This is a pentakill. Surprised that was winnable. Always winnable with Tariq.
Did this Fimble Winter item? It shielded 2,000 damage. That's nuts. Down him, bro. Oh, yeah. Uh, the classic Oh, cute. my God, that J4, homie, you cannot be doing the E cube combo backwards <laughs> and then saying that I'm inting. It's insane. Like, I even see people, seen people do that, like, in high elo. Like, how do you mess that up? I don't know. What is happening here? This, is, this has been like all of my game. Uh, come on, J4, please steal it, please steal it, please steal it, please steal it, please, 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 please. Let's go, oh, really, it's wow. all good enough. Dragon. We got the dragon, man. I'm, I'm, I, I think it's winnable. Absolutely psychotic to game, but heal this asshole. <laughs> like we've never killed anything before. Kill this thing. Okay, okay, okay. Coming. We actually kill her or is that a fantasy? That was a fantasy. Yeah. Sometimes dreams do come true. <laughs> Sometimes you can kill the useless ADK. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Not so much. Here we go, baby. Seven we have twenty kills together. I want this win, Coog. Oh, don't tell me we have all of our kills, man. Oh no. Get him, Thresh. Oh my god. Thresh got his shield bow. That's a win. Thresh. <laughs> I am afraid. Okay. Okay, we do Baron, we do Baron, we do Baron. Oh my god. What is going on? This is my favorite combo of all time. Okay, five man Yone ult kills us all. Wait, Soul, you can fly. How are you the last one here? Okay, luckily, it looks like Thresh burned the Yone ult. Or he just didn't feel like using it. Huge. Oh, <laughs> you came to the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> oh my God, kill it. <laughs> I have no mana, I'm punching it, dude. Let's go. Dude, what is happening? I really wish I knew. Kind of liking it though. I'm, start I'm starting to embrace the Fiesta. At first I was like frustrated that like we're getting Nunu ganked and Yone ganked and Malphite dove. But now I'm just like, this is this is just battle royale. This is just team deathmatch. Thresh? I have level two ult. Thresh? I can kill this Nunu. He That's went like full bad. full AP like and MR, so. Oh. Oh. That guy's mad. Malphite has no ult. Okay. I have ult. This guy's just dead. Oh. Okay, that thing does damage though. I have exhaust. I still wanna fight. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna wait for them to use things mm -hmm. on.
Oh my god, are, are we, we actually winning? going to win this game? I don't understand. Wacky times, boys. Guys, if you have watched this much of the video, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. It's the easiest, fastest, freest way to let me know that you enjoy the content. And give this video a thumbs up because, oh my god, what is going on in it? Right. I mean, this would be our third dragon. That'd be huge. Hopefully we can burn it because I don't, don't have ult right now. Nice. Free pick. Steal his wolf too. Not gonna steal his wolf. I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have no exhaust. Open pen. Been in no flash. Get him, boys! Okay, <laughs> he targeted me. Let's go. <laughs> Not escape the sticky pin. <laughs> <laughs> We're just too sticky. <laughs> oh my god. I'm full build. I don't think I've been full build on Pike like this early in a long time. You are the support item. Never. Never. But, yeah, but yeah, that's that's next. Can you buy that like pink ward item if you don't have a support item? Um, I don't remember. I might get that next. Stopwatch Nunu. Can you buy it? Nice. After completing the support quest, oh, you it, it won't transform oh, okay. me for you. It'll transform for me even if I sell the support item for it though. So maybe I get that. That'd be fun. We can do combo here, maybe. Alright, 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 I'm ready. Oh my god. He wasn't ready for the huh. sticky bandits, baby. Uh. Nice. Wait, wait, wait. Ult me, or uh, stun, and I'm gonna ult. Yeah. Oh, that was gonna be so cool. Two, one, stun's up. Okay. Nice. Oh, that was insane. Woo, baby! All right, uh, I guess I'll go match Malphite. I mean, we could just... Huh? Nah, we, we, we haven't had enough fun yet. All right. Hey, guys, we have to, we have to deal with Malphite. We can't end. Trust me, we can't, guys. I actually think we probably couldn't have ended. We'll be fighting into, yeah, like, maybe new, new. I'll, I'll, I'll cut this guy off. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm gonna start annoying him. Oh, he's. That he, was just he, gonna he kill me. Sufficiently annoyed. Okay, wait, stun and I'll alt. Okay, we're gonna edit that out. Okay, we are never trying that again. Okay, we got him. Dude, we got him, boys. <laughs> Just as planned. And my ult up for dragon. Let's go. Take the shot. You still just die instantly. <laughs> yep. Get him, Thresh. Oh, 80 Thresh. Dude, this oh, is doing more than I, let's go. Than I thought. I don't think I've seen him win a hook. 
He just took 3,000 damage from Baron, so... Hope it was worth it, bud. Oh, we've, we've got the big early, and so... Oh my god. Dude, that is not a real ability. That is not a real life, man. It just dropped an actual planet on him. What are you supposed to do about that? Pick a god and pray. Oh, the hook! Oh, oh the hook brothers. Okay. Wow, it gave that to me? I thought, I thought it wasn't low enough. There it wow. is. Wow. There it is. You are going nowhere in life. <laughs> God. Our thresh said you are going nowhere after you hooked him. Oh, okay. He was feeling himself. I thought it was like completely unprompted. Just he wanted to tell us that. All right. Well, there exactly. it is, guys. The sticky bandits. We out damaged everyone on their team as Pike, which as, as a Pike player, I can tell you that does not happen very often. We got hard camped. It was a complete fiesta, but legitimately one of the most fun combos in the game. Try it out with your friends. Uh, let me know if you guys int with it or carry with it. Uh, if you guys watch this on YouTube, let me know what you guys think of the build chat in the combo space. Take it easy. Peace out. What is up, boys and girls? Welcome back to another Ioki video. Today, we're going to be doing something that I'm pretty excited to try out. We're going to be playing Tank Pike because there is a new Korean build that is absolutely obliterating high elo. Uh, in fact, there's a Grandmaster player that plays it almost every single day with a 67% win rate. So close to the... Beautiful 69% win rate, but just not quite there. Uh, but anyways, we are going to be showing you guys. Uh, we actually have a very tough game ahead of us because we're all AD and to a lot of champions that are that can be very, very tanky. So hopefully this build is as strong as I'm hoping that it is. But uh, yeah, we're not going to be going, uh, you know, Duskblade. We're not going to be going Prowler's Claw, which are very typical Pike items. We are going to be going Even Shroud, which is really, really crazy to think because Pike is not at all supposed to be able to be, uh, be built tank. Because any health that he builds gets uh, directly put into AD. There's like a ratio for it. But there's a little bit of health. But the really good stuff about this item is the ability haste, the armor, the magic assist, and then the effect of the item. So basically, the effect is that anytime they get immobilized, which Pike has two ways of doing so, uh, they that target just takes straight up 10% more um, damage from all sources. So it's kind of like Pike is like a team player. Be a kill. Eh, not quite. Uh, but yeah, so basically we're going to hook them. They're going to be taking 10% uh, increased damage from all sources for 5 seconds. Actually pretty insane uh, because we're th that's going to make us do more damage to them as well. So basically by building tank, we are going to be able to go for more plays, go for riskier and crazier plays, and then also hopefully do even more damage in the long run. It's kind of the idea behind like building tank Senna is that like, yeah, you know, she's not typically meant to be a tank, but... If you can position as a marksman forward because you're super, super tanky, if I can position as a super squishy, uh, you know, assassin support because I can't die, then I can get off even more f uh, damage in the long term. We're going to hit this uh, Yone here. Well, unless my Garen's already dead. Ooh, very clean. I was really hoping he didn't predict the flash there. But, I don't know, Garen has no flash, which means that maybe Yone has no flash either. But, uh, yeah, this Korean Grandmaster player either goes Umbral into Even Shroud or Even Shroud into Umbral. I can't really figure out from his OPGG, like, which one he goes and why. Um, it's just kind of like a little bit of a both. Should be good. Should be good. There we go. That's a bait. That's a bait, boys. No, no shot this guy gets out. No shot this guy gets out. Beautiful, beautiful start, guys. Uh, so we are already ha- Actually, we, let's, let's, go, let's go kill Vayne, too. We got her flash earlier, so this should just be free. That was actually super freaking clean by Vayne. It was something that I knew there was a possibility was going to happen. 
But man, I was oh wow. That, that, that was well played. We give her props for that. The condemn into the turret shop. We respect it. All right, so we're gonna grab the Aegis of the Legion. Dude, I've noticed that this component is like absolutely cracked on its own. I mean, this alone gives me all of the armor, half of the ability haste, and all of the magic resist. Like, dude, Aegis of the Legion is just like so freaking goaded uh, as a component. But already, I think we're gonna be seeing uh, a, a pretty big difference in terms of tankiness. Now we are super, super countered because Vayne does have a bit of true damage. Um, they, we're all AD and they've got two people who are going to be going super, super tanky, but very hard game ahead of us. But luckily we're doing really well in the early game and that will hopefully help us out here. Let's try to hit this Yone again. Dude, Yone is just such a whack champion. Does he go forward? He does. Nice, help my boy Garen out. Uh, we don't really have any way to shove this. Heck has the worst wave clear in the entire game. We see Zillion mid. But it'll also be interesting because the mythic passive get, makes me even tank here. And thank God it doesn't like give health or something. All right, I know this guy has no flash. I killed him with my E. I was actually trying to give him the kill there. Believe it or not, I actually was trying to give a kill away. Yeah, there's just a lot of people mid now. But dude, 3 1 and 3 at uh, level 4, not bad. I would say we've got this game in the bag, but it's just never in the bag as Pike, guys. It genuinely isn't. Let's see if we can hit this vein. Um. Be away from that so I don't get condemned into the wall. ADC was just too far back. I don't blame him. Got the wave back here. Need 400 gold before we can start taking this game over with Korean Tank Pike. This champion is like, I don't know, anytime there's like an off meta build, it always really interests me because Riot has done their absolute freaking darndest to make sure you can only build this champion in a very, very certain way, which is lethality and AD. So like anytime there's like a new build, it's always, it's always really neat to check it out. I'm still, I'm still waiting for the day that, you know, AP Pike takes over the server. Boom. Beautiful. Oh, let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. It's easy, baby. Zillion's making it easy for him. All right. After this play, I have my entire even shroud. I don't want to position forward. See if I can... Ah, no. I don't want to mess with that vein. I'm going to grab one more plate. And we are out of here. Nice root. It's 2 to 10. Very strong start. We'll see if we can keep this momentum. Let's see if we can ruin this, uh, this Yone's life even further. Actually, I have one more ultimate hunter proc. I don't want to go get it on Darius, but now I think I think Yone's easier to gank. Ganking a Dar- Ah, uh, maybe I can counter gank. If he doesn't die before I get there, I can counter gank it. Yes, flash. I don't know why he warded like, as if he was gonna ward hop and then flashed. Okay. Got Darius's flash. So right there. Did 55 extra damage. So basically 55 extra damage on a hook. That's really not bad at all. It's actually kind of neat to think about because like Duskblade, you wouldn't get that value until you auto attack them. You actually get the value here. Stand in front of him so he can't alt out. Oh my God. That's insane because he ulted and he ulted into behind me. So my Q missed. That's crazy. Oh my God. My bad, bro. That's so whack, man. Whatever. We're going to go for our umbral now. 
Dude, I hate Yone, man. That like that champion is so disgusting. I'm on my way, bro. But I just realized I have 8 KP and I'm not even level 6. Crazy. Keep running, Garen. Try to save my boy here. Oh, wait, am I dead now? Wait, I think I'm dead. Wait, he killed Maokai though. Boom, baby. Yo, actual, like normal Pike would have died there 100% by the way. I, I, I'm a million percent confident. Boom. Get him immobilize. See, like I'm, I'm providing value even just by CCing with this build. That's actually, I, I actually like that. I like the idea behind this. I bet this build gives Pike like a much better late game too. All right, let's go. Let's go visit our our favorite bot laners. Oh my god! Chill, daddy. Okay. They really, they really wanna, they really want me, I guess. Uh, we have Rengar coming down. I'm gonna go for like the backside. I don't think I can go through there because Maokai could be ch chilling in there. I want to be ready for the dive. God. Okay. Ah, that landed. I have my ulti ready. I can't actually dive it though. I'll just die. Got this? Oh! <gasps> Bro, I'm griefing this game. I'm actually griefing. That's okay. So is that guy. <laughs> hey, we're having some fun, boys. We're having some fun. It's 6 to 16. We can grief a little bit. Okay, I'm, I'm honestly, like, impressed, though, because I know Duskblade wouldn't have given me 359 damage so far. You just gotta think about, like, this isn't showing the only extra damage that it's letting me get, either. Because the extra tankiness is, like, allowing me to get, like, extra autos. You feel me? Oh my god, Jax just 2v1. Oh, nice try on the on the side dodge. Nice try. Okay, okay. Boom. So the last like tank pike build that kind of took over was heart steel. And that one wasn't really tank pike at all because that was just like an infinite AD generator. Because like I said, the, the way that pike's uh health works is it it transforms all HP into AD. So with, when you get an item like Heart Steel that infinitely stacks AD, oh my god, infinitely stacks health, it just turns into AD. Clean. Yo, we are kind of dumpstering them just a teensy weensy little bit. Don't worry, I, I, maybe we do some more limit testing here, guys. Maybe give Yone a couple kills. I'm giving I'm giving them some false hope, guys. <laughs> Chill, Zill. Go 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 go. Uh, we got a we got a yakety sax chase going on here in the bot lane. Wait, Zillion or Jen is so freaking fast. Oh my god, these guys are dead now. Bro. No. Hey, 
Hey, hey. Well, that was a little unfortunate. We didn't actually get the proc or even shroud, but the tankiness kind of lets us go for those plays. You know what I mean? Kind of lets us go nuts. All right, let's go get our Umbral Glaive. This guy's got free dragon. All right, now we're gonna start feeling like our damage output is a little a little closer to uh to regular pikes. We got our umbral. Th dude, this item is just like this item completes pike. You know what I mean? It 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 is the pike item. Limit test, limit test. Legendary. Oh. Oh, he flashed the Yone ult. My god. This guy's nuts. Woo, not bad, baby. Little two for one action. And Garen got like so much gold from that. So he got assist on both of them. Just gave Garen like 800 gold straight. Oh, objective bounties. My favorite system in the game, guys. Hello? Anybody in there? All right, we go back. Um, now, we don't want to go, like, full tank pike. I think that's just, like, a little bit overkill. So, we're not going to go, like, merc treads or anything. We, we just go mobies. We keep taking over the map. Keep getting to objectives first. Keep keep making plays in all three lanes. Go edge of night. We're not really going for, like, tank. We're going for, like, survivability. Wow. Wow. Oh, he just got dunked. Oh, he got the Rengar, though. Yo. <laughs> it's that champion, man. <laughs> Get real. Alright, well, they just, uh, kind of wiped our entire team, so maybe maybe we start playing a little a little smarter. We do, like, definitively get outscaled here. But coming up on 750 extra damage from Even Shroud, not bad for literally just, like, being a tank item. I think it's, like, so weird how, like, Riot has made tank items do so much damage. Like heart steel is just a pure tank item, and you build it on Scion, and you look at it. It's like at the end of the at the end of the game, it's done eight thousand damage. Like what in the world? That's not a tank item, right? <laughs> yeah, we can look here. Oh, Ringer's fighting. Oh no. Hey. Yeah. yeah, easy clean up there. Easy, easy. Looks like my. Hello, Zillion. <laughs> Guys? Oh, it actually gave me that ulti. Okay, well, we just did like 400 extra damage in that one fight with Even Shroud. So the crazy thing is, is it doesn't have a cooldown. So I can hook someone, get the Even Shroud damage, and then hook them immediately again, get the Even Shroud damage. That is absolutely insane. Like, 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 wait now, wait now, wait just a second here. This might actually be broken. 
I'm seeing like more and more benefits from it, honestly. Karen is so freaking fast. Close. Do the cannon! Are you be taken by cannons, bro? I thought we were homies. Nice. Man, I can't believe they have an FF actually. Okay. Okay, flash. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go, baby. Yo, Garen, we ain't done, bro. We ain't done. We got another fight coming. Oh, I griefed, 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 I griefed. It's okay. We're doing a lot of that. We're doing we're, we're doing some actual like legitimate limit testing this game because I really want to like find the boundaries of like what this build makes possible. All right, let's go. I guess we just go at edge of night. Trading my control wards out for a long sword which kind of feels bad, but down to just do Baron here. Dude, again, like, props to them for not FFing. They do technically outscale us, but, like, it's 14 to 43. I've, I've, I haven't seen a team that doesn't FF this game in a long, long time. Like, a long time. So, props to the enemy team. Always so much more fun when they don't FF. Okay. Shall transcend. And when you think about it, it's like, okay, so when I hook them, or be, I forgot, I forgot it's about, or being immobilized too. That's always so weird. Uh, cause that target and all nearby enemy champions to take 10% increased damage. That's crazy. So like, when you think about it, I'm really playing like Enchanter Pike, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm, make, I'm making other people do more damage. Watch out of that. Big old grief number five. It's all good though. Um, almost to edge of night. All right, we're gonna we're gonna put our we're gonna put our brain on here. We're gonna stop running it down. I'm just I'm just giving them hope, you know. Be him. Yo, Jax is on the 1v5 grind. Okay, we get the Baroon. If, dude, honestly, if they come over here and steal this Baron somehow, we actually lose the game. Thank God they didn't. They were close, though. On this. Just gotta kind of play around the outskirts of the fight. Oh, baby. Oh, my God. I just don't miss, boys. I do not miss. That was a crazy freaking angle because I had, I had to calculate, like, how much speed he had and the angle that he would dodge at. a nutty one. It's really cool. He just ease out of my hook like that. Alright, so I've given my team 2,000 gold and 
made them do 2,000 extra damage. Single tank item. What? What? How'd I get stunned? That actually made no sense at all, though. Because I had one of the bombs on me, and then Yone, like, E snapped back, and I get stunned? What? Oh my god. Oh! Wacky. Alright, got Edge of Night. We're pretty much full build now. I, I would say for some most support builds, you should be looking to like get the most value out of like your first two items because in, in a real game, that's pretty much realistically like how much you're going to get. Luckily, we got third in, or three items in this one ju just because we have 31 KP. It's pretty nuts. Oh, we got the inhib. Nice. Um, yeah, so you like th that's why like support itemization is so important because you have to get like f massive, massive value out of your first and your second item. All right, we have. Oh, we have Cloud Drake. Yes, yes, yes. Nice to. All right, Rango, give me the dragon. Oh my God. Uh, uh, normal Pike would have died there, by the way. Oh, he's a fast boy now, huh? Oh boy. All right, we got it. Not bad. Not bad, boys. We take those. Hey, I got an assist on that too. Because I missed my ult onto the Darius and it went onto the Zillion. All right, now let's get our soul. Dude, this game has just like become absolute fiesta, hasn't it? Um, let's go mid. Glad we got like so much game time in this game though. I really thought they were going to FF a 15. I need to get some food though, man. I feel my body deteriorating. I haven't eaten today yet. Mm, let's go shadow this Jax. Alkai's keeping me from getting to you, bro. I wish. I might be dead. Oh. We're just the distraction, boys. I'm coming in hot. Rip. Oh my god, I stole it from Garen Alt with my Q. I am a professional KSer, man, swear to god.
Careful, big guy. I think she actually has outscaled you. Hmm. I don't know if we can actually do this. They are all up. Got Rengar soloing Baron. There are very normal things going on here. Oh, pff, you're kidding me, man. Okay, she has no flash. Jin should one-shot her here. Or Garen. Someone will one-shot her, guys. Someone will one-shot her. Yo, all right, I think that's gonna be it. So definitely not like the cleanest game of Pike we've ever had. We definitely griefed like eight times, but it's all good. Wanted to try out this new Korean tank survivalist build. I don't know, it's not really like tank because you still go like lethality second item, Moby boots, etc. Oh, maybe it's not over. <laughs> Rengar has to full clear despite being full build and with Baron. Let's go Jax, I believe in you. There we go. My boy Garen's got his eye on the prize. But anyways, there it is, guys. Our tank item did a bo total bonus damage of 2,700 damage. And again, that's not like the full picture. Like, I definitely did more damage in this game because I had the damage item. Because I was just able to survive for so much longer. Like, Pi Pike is just a champion that gets one-shot by, like, a light breeze. So it's just kind of nice to have that extra, you know, ability haste, armor, magic resist. Get out of here, boys. We gone. All right, let's take a look at the damage charts. The client will load, that is. All right, there we go. So I actually out damaged Darius, Maokai, Zillion. Jin. I out damaged my Jin somehow, but really, really crazy. Uh, there's the damage taken, da damage done. If you guys watch this bi uh, build video on YouTube, let me know what you guys think of the build and strat down in the comments. I'm going to go get some lunch. Take it easy, boys. Peace. Uh. Hey, guys. What is up? Aoki here bringing you what I believe and what apparently Riot believes might be the future of support builds. And that is going to be a no mythic build on Pike. Now, Riot has recently said, and I'm sure you've said it, I'm sure you guys have seen it in a bunch of your games. People are starting to realize that maybe some of the mythics for certain champions are actually worse investments than just straight up going uh, non mythic items. Like this wants me to buy Eclipse, Duskblade, and Prowlers. But I'm sure you've seen people like rushing Umbral. I'm sure you've seen it in other roles, uh, you know, Umbral on Graves and Bork on like every single top laner in the game. J the legendary items are just really, really broken. Uh, they don't get the mythic passive, but like they just have so much power baked into them in other areas that I'm sure you guys have seen it. No mythic builds are starting to kind of take over the game. Uh, so we're going to be showing you guys a no mythic build on Pike, and it's actually not going to be an Umbral rush. We are going to be rushing Bork. Yep, you heard me. Blade of the Ruined King Pike. Should be a kill here. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to be going Bork Rush Pike to cut down all those nasty, ridiculously, you know, high health tanks. Uh, it's going to be a future-proof build because it doesn't matter if they have one tank or four tanks. You're actually going to be able to deal with them. Um, whereas, like, if you go full lethality... You just start falling off super, super hard as Pike. So, yeah, that's that's going to be it. We're going to be going Bork into Umbral, and then I don't know what we're going to build after that, but it's not going to be a Mythic because Riot has come out and said that they are more than uh, comfortable kind of embracing this new wave of no Mythic builds and no, like, or at least, like, people not rushing the Mythic. You know what I mean? They said they think it's totally fine. Uh, I thought Bork was completely broken because whenever I get it or I see anyone else get it, it does like 7,000 damage. And then you look at their mythic and the mythic's done like 1,500 and they got it earlier. It's just crazy. So we're just going to be abusing the fact that Riot is apparently okay with legendary items being super, super broken. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun game.
it looks like they're gonna have maybe one possibly two tanks and uh you know against tanks pikes is absolutely worthless but the crazy thing is we're not going to see a drop off in damage against squishy targets either uh just because bork is that broken like i, I mean i don't know what else to say it's just broken all right we got maokai coming down here soon ash has no flash i'm gonna try to get my level three before we hit I need one more minion, bro. Here we go. Nah, that's a. Hey, that's not gonna cut it, buddy. That's not gonna cut it. We're gonna get them both. Oh, he's ghosting, guys. We got a runner. I wanted this kill, guys. I wanted the kill because I, I genuinely think it's okay to take the kill there because one early gold on Pike is always good because as long as I have the ability to kill him, I can ult and then I get the rest of my team gold. Uh, but also, the one downside to rushing Bort, guys, is that it is a very expensive item. 3,300 gold, so the more kills you can steal in the early game, the better your odds are of getting this item and just taking over the game with it. But yeah, Bork is going to synergize really, really well with the fact that you go Halo Blades on Pike, too. Because attack supply an additional 12% cur enemy current health physical damage. Attacking a champion three times deals 40 to 150 magic damage, so we're getting a little bit of magic damage out of our Pike, too. But yeah, you proc those three hits like really, really fast. Pretty much every time you go in, you can go boom, boom, boom. And with those three autos. So it's very similar to why Bork is a broken champion or broken item on Pantheon. Pantheon jumps in with them and power W, auto, auto, auto. But we don't have empowered autos. We just have Halo Blades autos. So yeah, guys, let me know down in the comments. Are there any other broken champions that just don't need a mythic or have better builds without a mythic? I've experimented with the no mythic Cinna, and it's really, really good. Uh, we're going to be playing No Mythic Pike this game, seeing how it feels. Yeah, I'm sure. Like, I don't know, man. This new wave of, like, denying Mythics and Riot apparently just being okay with it. It's just crazy. Thank you. Follow up from Samira. Get some really nice patience on her hook there, too. Alright, uh, Maokai's wanting to do the dragon. We want to push this in first. Pike's not the fastest pusher in the game, I can tell you that. Over here, it's also... Oh, this is warded. Use our Greyhound shield to know when it's warded or not. It's also kind of, like... It's almost more ideal to just not go on the dragon at all. Like, your DPS to the dragon does very, very little. Whereas, like, I could be sitting in that bush... And if Kane happens to contest it, then I have the jump on him. But Samira didn't come, so I think we actually need our DPS. But yeah, typically as a pike, that's where I would want to be positioning. Just kind of looking for like a ambush angle. Hit this gen though. Freaking gin tra Oh my god, man. Three gin traps in the bush. That's crazy. All right, let's go back to bot. We're going to be looking to cut across this angle right here. Get the jump on them. It's kind of hard because Cinder has that knockback. This is a big wave too. We don't have to fight in this. Only if they aggress on her here do we go. Or once the wave is a little bit thinned. Definitely do want to like keep pushing our lead, but... oh. Close. Bad. We're just scaling up to level six. Ah, oh, man. Oh, this is a disaster, isn't it? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we kill them all. Maybe we kill them all. What a weak hook that was. All right. The beauty of getting an early lead in bot is that sometimes you can just kill the ganker. An ally has been slain. All right, we've given Samira quite a bit of solo XP. I want my level six. We want to push one more. I definitely think we want to push one more, bro. Be fine here. Just W out. 
Report bot win trading, please. <laughs> we solo killed them five times, and now they're reported for win trading. Actually, one, actually, two of those kills were not solo kills. They, that, it was a good game for Maokai. Okay, well, we get level six here. Guess I can pop my potion and stay. Look for a kill. Oh my god. Alright, we got the Ash's Ghost there. That was a crazy hook, though. Alright, Syndra's level 6 now. We need to be, like, a little more cautious. A little more careful. Not sure we can actually do anything here just because we're on a ward. Might be time to roam, honestly. This lane's too hard to kill now that Ash is 6. Syndra's 6. Need 800 gold for my Borky Bork. Swap out our trinket, even though we haven't completely finished our sight stone. Yeah, let's get out on the map. Let's get the rest of our treasure hunter procs. Um, that singe is 2-0. I mean, here's another example of someone of a champion not rushing a mythic. It's the future, boys. The future is here. This guy is fast, bro. This guy is so fast. Not fast enough, though. Alright, we're gonna push in bot or push in mid, then we go back to bot. No. I mean, if I get one play, I can actually get my full Bork. Not bad, guys. We're going to be getting a 11-minute Bork, it looks like. <laughs> Dude, he died inside of me. What? Went inside me and literally just felt the burn. My ignite got him. That's crazy. All right, we got full Bork now. It is time to get violent, my friends. Got Bork. We'll probably go Moby's this game. But dude, I just want to show you guys, like I want if I hook one person and then auto them three times, like you will just see how much psychotic damage is baked into this item. Like, building attack speed is kind of weird on Pike, I guess, since you have Halo Blades, but the rest of the, you know, lifesteal and AD is always nice. Yeah, we literally just auto-attack them three times. Bork just carries our damage. No! Oh, I mistook. Can't land them all, boys. Uh, I'm actually pretty certain I can kill this guy. Okay. Didn't even get to use my Bork there. Got a double kill, though. Wait, it didn't give me the ulti reset for that? What? That's crazy. I guess my ulti landed on Kane instead of the Syndra for the execute. That's wacky. Alright, let's go. Let's go really show off the board. Oh, I did actually. 60 damage and I autoed with it once. This guy's like actually just way too fast to hit with anything. Woo! This 
Scary times. Look at that. 335 damage. I used it once, guys. I basically got to use it once. 335 damage into my combo. Like, wh like what is that? That's so insane. And, of course, we're going to go the classic Umbral. I don't know. This is for sure, like, an experimental build, but... I, I, I just... I think that once we start getting into team fights, you guys are going to see, like, how insane Blade of the Ruin King is. They got a... Little, little voting here. A little bit of a voting angle. Okay, guy's 2k gold. Probably wants to buy, but... Okay, as long as you're not doing dragon. Oh my god, that was crazy. That was freaking nuts, man. Waiting for the ignite to put him into a uh, execute range. Low singed. All right, I def I want to limit test. I get some autos on singed. <laughs> I'm, I might have uh, I might have screwed over my Morgana there by dodging that, but I mean it was her or me, bro. I definitely want to be doing this dragon. Oh, they went they went red cane too, so my Bork is even better. <laughs> and I got the freaking scuttle crab, man! No way. That's so wild. Okay, 700 damage on Bork so far. Let's let's see how, how how high we can get this, guys. Oh, I'm I just griefed. I just griefed. <gasps> oh, it's grief. I griefed. Bro, I dodged him in everything. I dodged him in everything, man. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Whatever. 1k damage from Bork. What is this, bro? Like, okay, so for instance, do you think that Duskblade would have done 1k damage at this point? No. And Bork is only 200 gold more than Duskblade. Like, Duskblade, I would have, like, realistically, I feel like Duskblade would have given me, like, maybe 150 extra extra damage. It's just so wacky, bro. It's just so wacky. I don't know. I don't know. It was cra even crazier is that they are buffing this item next patch. Like, isn't that wild? The sun like feels so good on my arms. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go try to catch that Syndra. I might be ending here. Oh. Okay, got Ashes Flash. Wow. He flashed onto a Gin Trap. Oh, baby. Okay, 1,200 extra damage. Oh. Oh, my God, man. Dude, if, if Maokai had come and helped me out there, I could have actually gotten out. That was very, very clean, though. I E'd through her because I knew she was going to try to air me. Oh, my God. That was too wacky. And now I've got two legendary items, guys. Let's go, let's go. Dude, this is this feels good, man. Like I, I'm serious. This this feels so good. Get the steel movement speed. Work is just so overtuned. Oh. Well, it looks like Mordekaiser's winning. He was indeed. Oh, nowhere to run, bro. Wait, no way. I was gonna say, no way he lives that second shot. Alright, we're up t 11 kills, 2 dragons. Things are going good. Oh, I thought she'd go forward there. 
Oh, we can just dive. Someone's got a tank though. No one wants to tank. No one wants to tank and I'm absolutely not tanking. Okay. Okay. 1600 damage from Bork. Okay, okay. This is normal. This is normal. Oh, baby. No. No, the ignite got me, man. The ignite. 1760, bro. Okay, we're gonna, like, unless they FF, we're gonna crack like 4k damage with this. Um, all right, Merc Treads would be really, really good here. I think we do go Mercs. Just to make sure we don't get one shot. Samira. Samira is level 12. Created a monster. Ash, you better just let that one go, bro. Just let that one go, my friend. All right, so for the last item... Just out of principle, I'm not gonna build a mythic. So I think we go like collector possibly. Guys, I I, I accidentally type for getting outskilled in all chat so they don't FF. Big brain tactics right here. That sucks. Guys, I don't think we can do Baron here. Uh, that was just a really good flash knock up from Kane, honestly. Might, we might throw here. Nope, Samira's too fed. Samira's too fed. Get him, Samira. Get him. Get him. Oh my god, she's so fast. Oh, she got him. Oh, no, oh my god. The reset. Yo. Okay, girl, I see you. I see you, girl. All right, we do have control of Hextech Drake. Hextech Soul, I mean. <laughs> Yummy. 2300 damage. So I did about 500 there. You guys want to see something cool? You can auto wards over the wall as Pike. Kind of neat, huh? Kind of neat, huh? Should I take objectives or no? I'm about it, bro. I just keep finding free kills. Full. Oh, he pulled him towards Morgana. Oh my god, Morgana. Ford, you killed him, bro. He said, oops. <laughs> he said, oops. Oops is right there, man. All right, I just don't think I can kill Kane, unfortunately. He's gonna hide in a hide in a wall, get a knock up that I literally can't see. I think that's so stupid, by the way, that you can't like if Kane's if Kane like you don't have vision of Kane, you don't see the knock up hitbox. That's really dumb. Like imagine if like if if I was in a bush as Pike and I threw my hook, and if you didn't have vision of me, you couldn't see the hook. Like isn't that stupid? Yeah, we seem to be doing perfectly fine without a mythic. Almost 3k damage from Bork. Absolutely insane. Shut 
Dude, no way the ignite gets me again, right? Nice. I lived. Dude, that that uh that singe is kind of scary. Wait, if you if you hit this guy though, like one time, you oh my god, I think he's executable. I'll just take the free cannon. He might back in one of these bushes, but. Oh my god! Oh my lord, I misplayed that so hard. I for sure deserved to die there. Like, in-game. Uh, for sure deserved to die, but I did not, thankfully. I got Jin's flash. Really, really low. But I'm gonna stick around just for, you know, presence on my team. Maybe we could go do Baron if we wanted to. I will meet you there. Guys, I'm telling you, we're gonna we're gonna crack 4k damage with Bork alone, which is just just unbelievable, man. Please don't miss smite. Oh my god. Oh! The sapling killed Syndra. Dude, what a wacky game this has turned out to be. A little bit of solo kill action. Nice little solo kill. Clear out all their vision. 3,500 <laughs> support, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Got hit with the support, by the way. Cinda spent the entire game typing since ch champ select. Dude, I know, I know the type. I know the type, my friend. The typer type. God bless the fact that I went Merc Treads. I would have died there. Got alt in five. And I can't really do much here. Yeah, I mean, I I verbalized it. I said I knew I knew I couldn't do much. I don't know why I tried to do much there. Thirty-eight hundred damage, man. I'm not into this game until I get four K, bro. I am not into the game. Do not end the game. Can't end. Leave, leave, leave. Well, I mean, we actually like cannot end. No troll. Go get soul. Go get soul. Uh oh, we might have thrown. I, th I think we threw, boys. Yo, Samira. How you doing? All right, let's go Edge of Night for last guy for last item. I need to auto someone literally once to get my 4k 4k dream. Let's play around soul. Got the first three dragons. <laughs> this guy's like having a mental breakdown, man.
baby. Oh my god. Beautiful. And there it is. 4,014 damage. As a legendary item, guys. As Bork Rush Pike. Oh my. He got collected. That was some clean pike play over here, though. Guys, if, you, if you've if you made it this far into the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Obviously, you like the content if you've watched 29 minutes of it. And uh, it's the really fast and free, easy way to let me know that you guys like the content. So make sure you're subscribed. All right, can we hit... Can we hit 5k, guys? Is it possible? We gotta get, we gotta hit that three hit passive. Bro! I do no damage to Singed. Well, I kind of flopped that, guys. We 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 kind of we kind of womp womped there. Missed the ulti somehow, and then I flash Q autoed and did actually no damage. Uh oh, another throw, another throw, boys. I mean, another really good item is Ravenous Hydra. I just don't think it, like, really goes together with this build. Like, we've all seen Ravenous Hydra Pike, right? Like, that's, it, that's super good on Pike mid where you need where you need wave clear. Because then you can just clear the wave, auto attack it, and then go roam. But you don't really want wave clear on Pike support, typically. You want to be able to kill things. Yeah, I guess we, I guess we just go Edge of Night for our last item. All right, let's focus up. Let's make sure we get this dub. We have 17 kills, pike support. Done 4,600 damage with our legendary. I think we've proven our point that legendary items are the future. Mythics are overrated. Let's make sure we get the dub, guys. Just play for Baron here. I can go assassinate. Who is that? Syndra. Okay. Okay. Bro! You, they just use everything on me, actually. Alright. I think I think team ends the game here, so... I'm happy with that. I'd be happier if we hit 5k damage on Bork, but... Certainly we win this, though, right? Just hit the Nexus. Just hit the Nexus. Certainly... Oh, yeah, we win this. Oh, my God, we win this. Alright, 19 kills. 19, 7, and 9 as Pike. This is the build... That this is the this is the the build style um, that Riot is actually openly and publicly embracing and saying that it's not going away. They're not going to nerf it. They're not going to do anything. In fact, they're buffing this item. So uh, yeah, get used to seeing more no mythic builds and let me know down in the comments who you guys want to see me try out it on next. There is the damage chart. We out damaged everyone on their team as Pike, which is actually insane. I think that's another benefit of this build is that you get to actually deal damage as Pike. Because I'm sure you guys have seen my other Pike tubers. No matter how fed you are, you just don't deal damage as this champ. Bork actually changes that. You deal damage now. So if you guys watch this on YouTube, let me know what you guys think of the building strat down in the comments. Boys, take it easy. Peace out.